now come to the undoubted favourite for this title. This is Isabel Wirth from Germany and the 11-year-old Hanoverian gelding Warum Nicht, one of the new sensations on the dressage scene. Well, absolutely, and I, this is such an impressive horse with really one of the absolutely top riders in the world. I think what we should do really is sit back, fasten our seat belts, and just enjoy the test. Absolutely amazing start for Isabel to this program. Full power extended trots, good passage. Here we see that extended trot. Just look how uphill that is. Amazing elevation, isn't it? You could see in that passage half pass how Isabel was keeping the forehand, the front legs of the horse, slightly in advance of the hind legs. And there we see the trot half pass right there. Look how nice he looks in the rain contact. Shows he's accepting the bits very easily. Rhythm really suits this horse, and I think that the interpretation of the music suits him. In fact, this wasn't written for him or composed for him, this music. It was from uh, Isabel's previous horses, but it does complement him. Now, she's just taking a while to get the balance and the activity of this PF sorted out. That was probably the, the weakest uh, exercise we've seen so far, but knowing Isabel, she'll be just getting the connection. There we go. That's better. Look at the sitting in the hind legs. And she's controlling how forward and not forward she allows him to go in that PF. Look at Isabel's legs, they're giving very tiny little signals and her hands there just to encourage him to connect between the leg and hand. Look at the overtrack on that walk, how big his walk steps are. That's got to be a nine, possibly a ten. What I love about him is he just has this delightful attitude. You, his expression is, I am trying my hardest, Mum, isn't it? Yes, he's got these great big ears. Um, but, of course, he is a spooky horse. And um, he's... Well, you can see him pricking his ears. Where they prick their ears, that's where they look. And uh, I know that uh, Isabel's keeping her eye on where those ears are going because you have to try to anticipate where they might make a little spook. But so far, he's really mellowing and settling. Extended canter and coming to a pirouette where she has to get his hind legs underneath him to get that sitting effect. Perhaps is a bit big, we can see that from an aerial point of view on that pirouette, but it was very good sitting, good punching of the canter. If you just look at these changes, and they're not also totally straight, that's a little bit of a characteristic of the way Isabel does her changes, but they're very correct, very willing. Now you've got that mirror image, and look at that power. Power combined with the lightness in the forehand, although that was a difficult transition there into the canter period. He put his weight actually onto the forehand, 
A little bit of a rhythm error in that pirouette and then some really fantastic steps. He's a huge horse to do all that with though, isn't he? A small arena. Yeah, it's an interesting, a huge horse, but you see she's making relatively small one-time changes. That's a tactic to make sure that he keeps them correct and makes no mistakes. If you're tempted to ride very big forward changes, they can easily go wrong. And so far, this has been a very tactical test. And here again, making use of this spectacular extended trot. Now the PF. Now uh, she's turning him. You have to do at least one straight PF because some horses actually PF better in the pirouettes than they do when they're straight. Very good passage now. Lots of energy. A little bit of a double beat of the hind legs there going into the PF. But then very good PF and super Superb transition back to the passage. And look at that, look how light he is that Isabel feels. She can use a bit of showmanship, one-handed passage, and look at the will to go forward. Fantastic test, and Isabel knows it. Oh, that was a different class. No doubt about it. What a fantastic performance from the most extravagant of horses. And as Richard said, such a willing horse. He does it with a smile on his face, this horse, and he's only 11 years old. What a future they have in front of them. And what a shame Blue Horse Matinee couldn't compete against him here because that surely would have been a battle royal. But there's no doubt in my mind that that test is going to take the world of beating here in the Rolex World Cup dressage finals in Las Vegas. Richard, a, a tremendous performance by a true professional. So the final result of the 2007 Rolex FEI World Cup dressage final, an impressive victory for Germany's Isabel Wert and the 11-year-old Warum Nicht from Holland's Imker Schellekens Bartels with Stefan Peters of the United States in third and Kira Kirkland in fourth. None other.